ever paid any kind of premium and felt that you were not getting your money's worth and felt disrespect? Yeah. Oh, I'm the only one. Yeah. Oh, can I see where you raise the hand? Thank you. Well, about uh, a couple, several months ago, I was with uh, an insurance company that was being very rude to me and was was uh, taking my pants. They would return my calls. My name was wrong. Everything was every, month to month. Something was always wrong. So I was in a parking lot and I came home one day and there was a flyer on my car. And I called the young lady who uh, happens to be a sister. You know, I'm very fond of the sisters with Reverend Reverend Holly. So, you know, entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs. And I called her and she explained some things to me and it just made sense to me that nothing was ever explained to me. This is your policy, this is what you pay. Don't call us, we'll call you. So would like to introduce this woman to you. Her name is Robinson. I mean, it must be a sister from another mother or brother. Miss <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Robinson, would you please come to the, to the podium and explain to, the, to, to our viewers what you explained to me that I think is crucial that people know about uh, all of them. I mean, just insurance people. So let's give her a warm welcome. Good morning. I had no idea I was on the news this morning and now I'm Anyway, my name is Juanetta Robinson. Um, I recently started my own business with Farmers Insurance. And I, I met Ms. Zelda and was had the pleasure of sitting down and speaking to her about insurance. So I'm currently in the process of establishing my office uh, in Living Word in the Joseph Business Center. So uh, if all goes well, the Lord says so, I will be there come July 1st. But um, what I'm finding as I'm starting this business is that, you know, people perish for lack of knowledge. And so a year ago, the Lord put it on my heart in church that I needed to figure out a way to not only make an income, but really feel good about what I do and help the community. So, you know, insurance is something that people don't like to talk about, especially in terms of life insurance. Um, but it's something that, you know, every month, regardless of whether you want to or not, the law says that you have to have. So, my, my goal is just to make sure that you understand what it is that you have, that you know what you need, and if you're not sure how to get it, my job is to help you. So whether it be to leave you where you are with your current provider, make them work a little bit harder for you, or you know to give you some comparison, um, consultation, just to steer you in the right direction. So um, I do have some business cards. I love to work with you all. I live on the south side, but you know, I'm to travel. Love to sit down with you one on one and uh, just help you out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I really want to stress is that we, were, we are paying two dollars less and getting ten thousand dollars more with the coverage. Five That's times more. more. Five times more. Okay. That's what we're really free. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Five you, times you, more. you need to know things and you don't know things. Right. So thank you for that for sharing that knowledge. Um, are there any other announcements? Okay, well, I'll make my announcement then. Uh, last but not least, I'm not only a host, I'm a speaker, trainer, writer, media consultant, and if you ever need me to come out and host an event, I'm available. I'm not free, but uh, this is my volunteer. I do my, do, do my community work. In, in life, everything is negotiable except death, so I'm willing to work with it. But don't work for free, because I can't pay my insurance premium. Right. Okay. <laughs> And we do have something called Barter TV, where we can, where we can barter services to be on our TV show, the Higher Learning Network. You can talk to me about that. You can email me at info at higherlearningnetwork.org. It's in the past. Seven pages from the back. Also, be sure and join me on June 18th. If you'd like to have your church or your organization highlighted in one of the magazines that I write for, 316 Magazine, they're doing um, a little social get together, free food fun and all that good stuff. It's at the Ice Theater, 87th and Ryan. And that's uh, June 18th from 6 until 9. And last but not least, we have a If the Shoe Fits fundraiser. There's a young lady who uh, donated 100 pair of shoes for our fundraiser. You know, with the high one network, we have to raise X amount of dollars every year. She wears a size 9 and a size 10 shoes, and they're often set with Evans, Nordstrom, 9 West. J. Renee, Palo Alto, and all of them, I can't pronounce because I don't learn. But anyway, uh, go to the website, the information is there, higherlearningnetwork.org. And if you know anybody that wears a size 9 or a 
at 10, that'll give me a call as we got the hookup, okay? All right, thank you very much. Uh, Linda, did you have uh, another 10 minutes? Dr. Bingham will close us out as we all stand. Oh, no, 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 please sit, because she got some very important information. And I'll be very brief. No, I just wanted to share with you. Am I good? Um, that the